Right, uh, piriformis stretch. Uh, the piriformis is deep to your glute max, from your sacrum round to the top of your greater trochanter, so the top of your leg. Uh, and when it goes, it's painful. I've had my own battles with this muscle. So how, how do we stretch it off? Um, well, interestingly, piriformis is an external rotator, yet we stretch it in external rotation because once you get past 90 degrees of hip flexion, it actually changes its role to internal rotation, which is how we can get away with this. So I, I sort of progress, it depends on the stage of your piriformis syndrome. So to begin with, I was doing my left side. I'd have my left foot above my right knee. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and drop my knee down towards the floor. Now, if I can get to here happily, then I would progress to the next one. If I couldn't, I would treat by pressing my knee into my hand until I could in the same manner that you're about to see when I go onto the back, but I'm not gonna do them both because it would take forever. But you'll see the same thing I do when I lay on my back. You would just do from this position rather than lying flat on your back, okay? So let's say I can bring my knee down and I'm okay. What I'm gonna do next is lie on my back and do the same thing. So left foot over right knee. This time I'm gonna take my hands, grasp my right thigh and draw my knee up towards me until I can feel this stretch around the back of my glute. As I can feel this stretch, I'm gonna ease off slightly. And now I'm gonna push this knee into this hand. And so I'm pushing that direction. And I'm gonna push for 10 to 12 seconds at about 30 to 40% effort. After 12 seconds, I'm gonna stop, relax. And then you see, I can put my elbow on this leg to keep that knee out and then increase the stretch by drawing the thigh, uh, my right thigh towards me. I'll find a new stretch, I'll back off a little bit and I'll hold there for 10 to 12 seconds. Now what I can do is I can push this leg into my elbow. You see, it's already in position. So I'm pushing this knee this way. I'm blocking it with my elbow. Again, 30 to 40% effort. After 10 to 12 seconds, I'm gonna stop, relax, and then keep bringing the knee up to keep increasing the stretch, find a new stretch, back off, and I rest just before I'm feeling it. So that's twice, I'm resting for 10 to 12 seconds. On my third one, I'm gonna push into my elbow again, pushing this knee this way, sort of across my body, pushing for 10 to 12, 12 seconds, stop, relax, bring my knee up, find the stretch, back off, so I'm just before the stretch, and then hold it there for 24 seconds at the end. After 24 seconds, I've come out, stop, and that's me done. Okay. So you can see if you started here, it's just push your knee up like that, 10 to 12 seconds, stop, relax, lower the knee. Lower the knee and bend your body forward with it. Increase the angle in here. And then you'd repeat three times in that manner. Okay. So that's that once you've got down there, you then go onto your back and then you'd move on like so. And that's pretty effective in releasing the piriformis. There's a taping technique, there's uh, release techniques. There's lots of other things within the within this channel. When you fish about, you'll find it. Um, but piriformis syndrome, when it gets you, you know about it. Um, and that's a good step to uh, help. If you're doing this and you're okay, and you're doing this and you're okay, and you're thinking, well, I'm not really getting a stretch there, chances are, it's the muscle, but it doesn't need stretching. It needs strengthening, and that's something else, okay? But uh, drop me a comment, uh, and I will uh, send you some links to how to fix that.